Hello everyone, today I am going to create the railing for the curved and flared staircase which I have created in the previous video. The link to that video is given below in the description box. But before we start, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new generic model family file template file in Revit and then go to the front elevation and in here I'm going to create the des uh, design of the uh, baluster that uh, part of the railing and using the extrusion command so first of all select extrusion and draw a profile of the railing basically it's as uh, its elevation so i have created a design for the for that railing and then give it an extrusion and value click ok and then i'm going to copy it like this and then double click on this and here I'm going to edit its design so that it is merged with the previous profile and uh, let's drag it a little bit in the bottom and then at the top as well using the join command uh, join both of these extrusions and then select and assign material parameter to them as shown in the video now save this file and create an other copy of it uh, with an other similar name i'm going to name it blaster design 2 click ok and here i am going to double click on this extrusion and then i'm going to increase its length three inches from top and three inches from the bottom as you can see in the video So now as you can see I have created two designs of the two parts of the railing in the generic model family and one with a one which is uh, which has more height as compared to the other one and then I'm going to open the staircase uh, file which I have created in the previous video the link is given below in the description box now I need to place the railing uh, need to create a railing on this staircase so for that go to wireframe and draw a model line at an offset of 4 inches from both sides like this then uh, 
now I need to place the those components which I've created in the generic model family but I want them to be placed in the equal direction for that uh, open them go to the messing and uh, messing mode and place these two arcs by the selection tool and then select it and then click on this divide path now you can see that uh, these point the points are created at equal intervals so let's say let's keep these points make these points 30 so now we have equal number of distance uh, at where we can place the railing so one by one i'm going to place these points on all of these uh, lines all, all of these arcs so that it is easier for me to place these uh, place those generic model family now exit this mass mod and then load both the generic model template uh, generic model family in the project file now select that cluster which is shorter in length and place it here you can use the space bar uh, space bar on the keyboard to change and move the direction of the uh, component so that it is aligned to its so that it is aligned to the arc or the line or whatever so one by one I am going I am placing these components between th these two points as you can see now i am going to place that other blaster which is larger in height at these parts as you can see in the video now one after placing all of these components go to the west elevation or oh, and here you can see that all of them are placed on the floor plan on the level one but i want them to be placed on the treads of the staircase for that 
uh, start moving them one by one so that they are placed on the threads You can also use the align command to move these blusters as shown. I think that I need to reduce the height of the other baluster because it appears to be much larger in, in height so for that you can open that generic model family by double clicking on it. then go to the front elevation and reduce the height as shown in the video i am going to reduce the height by 1.5 inches from the top and 1.5 inches from the bottom Save this file and then again load it into the project as shown. so one by one i am going to change i'm going to change the position of the balusters on the and then i'm going to place them on the threads by using the align command as you can see in the video so now i have placed them all at its at its at their threads and at their position and it looks like this in their view 
now i'm going to uh, now i have placed the railing on the staircase select them and uh, select them and then click on edit type to open its uh, properties dialog box and create a duplicate of that railing let's name it handrail profile then click here and from here you can use you have to select none so that none of these pilasters appear in that staircase family from here you can change the height and length and material of the uh, handrail you can also add a profile of your own design but i will show that in another tutorial not on this one okay so now i have placed a rectangular handrail and i need to place it at an offset of four inches for that select the handrail and add this offset of four inches here and yeah it appears to be correct now now select the handrail and click on edit profile or edit, edit its path and then i need to rotate it like this at this curve for that click here give it an offset of four inches and lead this one and set the path like this so that the handrail also moves uh, also follows this direction and it is okay now Change the height of the handrail so that it meets the balusters. Let's keep it 2 feet 10 inches. Now I am going to repeat this exact step, exact process on the other side and also on the top platform that it's uh, landing so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe